Howdy Space Engineers, I'm Whiplash141 and today I'm going to show you how to set up my velocity indicator code. Uh, the first things we're going to need are a text panel, we're going to need a timer block, and a program. And inside the program, we're going to paste my velocity indicator. Um, at the very top of the code, you can modify the name of the control seat that is going to measure velocity off of. You can modify the tag of the readout screen right here, and you can also modify the maximum velocity uh, of your world. So if you're using speed mods, this code will support up to 999 meters per second. Um, right here, you can change the grid size of the velocity indicator. Larger numbers mean uh, higher resolution, um, but it's also harder to see because the lines become smaller. I like to use uh, 39, and I've given you the optimal text sizes for these. Um, this right here is how many updates that have run per second. 10 is pretty good. Um, you don't want to change any of these. These are the color constants. Uh, thanks to Alex the radar guy, um, I looked at his radar code and I saw how he used um, the Xbox control symbols to give us uh, colored uh, symbols. So right here, using these names, you can change the constants of the the default colors uh, so for your forward velocity vector um, it'll default color green you can change that to whatever you want um, when you're moving backwards it will color it red uh, your background color will be color dark gray crosshair color is light gray um, and then the number color is blue the number color is the velocity number indicator and you don't want to touch anything below this so we're going to head go ahead hit check code it should compile and then remember and exit. Uh, now we need to set up the timer. So find timer. We want, first of all, make it silent because they're noisy as heck and annoying. Um, we want to trigger now the timer. We want to start the timer. Both of those are important, trigger now and start. All right, now go to the program, run with default ar argument, pardon me. Okay, now the timer's ready. Ah. Timer is good trigger the timer if we go to the code it'll tell us any errors we have we need a ship controller so a ship controller can be a remote control it can be any cockpit it can even be a passenger seat um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna name our ship controller with the tag forward and you can name as many ship controllers as you want for um, redundancy sake um, it'll take the first one it finds. Uh, so if you lose a uh, ship controller, you can always have a backup like that. Um, and the last thing we need to do is we need to change the name of this text panel to add the word velocity somewhere in its name. Like that. And we need to change the text size. The optimal text size is default 0.4. If we look right there. Once we start moving around, you'll see that our velocity indicator is fully functioning. Now you can also change colors in a different way. If you go to your text panel, um, you can just change the colors from here. And you'll see that the characters will change colors themselves. So you can play around with that, see how you like it. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful, and I look forward to seeing what you guys do.